In this continuing chronicle of a real money swing trading US stocks portfolio, my chosen trade to chat about this week is Boston Sciences Corp, BSX. It is the only open loss trade at the moment in this real money portfolio, which is currently fully invested with 10 open positions. These are the positions that are currently open in the portfolio. And you can see that the trade that's been open the longest listed at the top has been open since December last year. It's sitting on a 45% profit at the moment. You can view the rest, but the one we're going to talk about today is the one that was opened on the 29th of August this year, just 20 days ago, and that includes weekends, it's not trading days, and it's currently sitting on a 3.13% loss. Now BSX is an example of an open position in a swing trading portfolio which opens and closes profit and loss trades that last on average around 11 to 12 weeks each. Being a trend following swing trading methodology that is centered around an original mechanical buy sell algorithm, profit trades last around three times longer than loss trades. Because as you might know, one of the golden rules of swing trading with a trend following system is to let your profit trades run and cut your loss trade short. Here is a chart showing the trade that has just been opened in the top right hand corner. You can see it's been open as I said just 20 calendar days. But I've also shown the previous mechanical trade on this chart because we did this trade in this live real money portfolio as well. That trade after cost was around a 12% profit trade. Now what evidence do we have that this stock has a swing trading edge with our buy sell algorithm? Well here are the historical statistics for trading BSX with the mechanical buy sell algorithm that we've entered this swing trade with. The top line of these statistics shows that there have been 52 trades in total. Over what period? Well since 1992, that's over a 30 year research period. Now not all of these 52 trades were research trades because the research was actually completed some years ago and since then we've actually traded out of sample trades, one of which you saw on the chart above. So what else do these statistics tell us? Well firstly that the average hold period for profit and loss trades is 90 days. Now divide that by 7 to get weeks. The average profit is 10% per trade, that's profit and loss trades. And the win rate is 61.54%. The payoff ratio which is the average win divided by the average loss is 4.66 and the expectancy which is an excellent expectancy is 2.48. Now that tells us that with this buy sell algorithm we have an edge and we trust in that edge. So we execute that edge when we get a buy signal. Now we have no idea what the outcome is going to be at the time of taking the, the entry signal, but we trust in the edge knowing that there are going to be about 40 to 50 percent loss trades. Now what we also know is that the loss trades are going to be a factor of around four and a half times smaller than the profit trades. That's our edge. And you can see at the bottom of this statistic screenshot that the average hold period for loss trades is 39 days. And the average hold period for winning trades is 121 days. There's that around about three times longer for profit trades and loss trades I mentioned earlier. The average profit trade is 18.77% and the average loss trade is around 4%. Now, as I said, we have no idea how this trade will turn out in this particular instance, nor do we worry about its outcome. We are concerned only with executing our documented process in our investment plan with complete trust that our mechanical edge will deliver the outcomes over a large sample in line with our research and stated goal of achieving 4% annualized better than the S&P 500 total return index over the long term. To stay tuned for future videos, please subscribe to this channel and click the bell. If you'd like to have a chat to us about how we can help you improve your stock portfolio returns, email us at info at sharewellsystems.com. I'm Gary Stone, founder of Sharewell Systems back in 1995. Until next time, I wish you consistent and objective investing.